That's it, place to be chill. Trying to miss any back with some more fat free X. So, here we go. Um, we got a new trailer called Ambulance. It looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. It's a Jake Gyllenhaal movie. New trailer just released. Uh, I love checking out new movies, stuff like that. That's why I am subscribed to a lot of these movie channels. So, I get the new trailer, I get to see it. So, <clears throat> it's called Ambulance. I think it comes out this year. I'm not necessarily, I'm not necessarily sure. No, 2022, next year movie. So, don't know what it's about or anything like that, but usually when Phil Selection sends me something, I want to check it out anyway. So, let's check out uh, Ambulance, shall we? All right. Hitting that play button. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry that I brought you into this. I just wanted things to be the way they used to be. A Yaya Patim and Jake Gyllenhaal movie? That's my brother, Will. I could use some help. My wife needs this surgery. This is real life. How's that right? You put your life down on the line for this country? You leave your family, your home? How much do you need? 231. How about more? 32 million. And I need an extra man. I came to you for a loan. Look, have I ever gotten you anything that I couldn't get you out of? It's time for you to do something for your family. What's about to happen? What can I do you for, officer? We're just doing a transfer in the back. I'll let you uh, in in 20 minutes. Uh, if I could just get it done real quick, because I'm on the clock. Promise not to rob the place. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, because that would be bad for my job. <laughs> I promise. All right, okay. All right. All okay. right. Come All on. Right. <laughs> okay. You got to go. <laughs> Let's go, D. You are all going to have the greatest story to tell at dinner tonight. Get out! Don't shoot it! I... Get out! Oh, somebody will fuck this up. Lock everything down. Nothing gets out. <laughs> this is okay. I'll wait. Stop! Get out! Oh. Oh. What do you want? Just gonna borrow it. I got a cop shot. I gotta get him to the hospital. Oh, I thought it was in day. How about funny us? We doing hostages now. <laughs> We're not crashing into this ambulance. We got a brother cop on board. Do you have EMT experience? Combat three eyes. You're a soldier. Yeah. We are trying to save you. One, two, three. Hey! Don't you move! You think you're so tough with that gun? No, Danny, relax. I gotta get back to my wife and my son. Does your wife know you're up, Banks? We're not the bad guys. We're just the guys trying to get home. We don't get to walk off into the sunset. Danny, everybody knows how dangerous you are. Do you? You get your helos out of here now! I'm gonna get you back home, little brother. I'm gonna get everybody home. That looks good. Look, f first off, that looks good. I'm a sucker for big heist movies, okay? I love heist movies. I love all that kind of stuff like that. But now, Jake Gyllenhaal and Yaya Patim in this joint. Hold on. You got some powerhouse actors in this joint. And now, it's, but see, it's, it's going to have one of the things like, you look at a movie like this. And this is, th th this reminds me of Dead Presidents, right? Where you know that it seems like the country don't never take care of its military at all. And when people just be struggling and you got people up in office and sit there too busy arguing amongst themselves and don't know how people are really struggling down here and people get desperate. But then when they get when they get desperate because nobody's helping them out and giving them no kind of money, shit like this happens. There is no happy ending for these guys. It isn't. That's what sucks about this thing. It, it can't be like, well, you know what? We just need to, you just need the money to help my family out. So, uh, here you go. It's like, say, same thing with John Q. They wasn't hearing this man, okay? They wasn't hearing this man, no. His son was going to die. He saved his son. It still wasn't no happy ending for him, you know? 
those kind of movies I'd be into, but I'd just be sucking like, God, there's just no happy ending for these people. Queen of Slim is another one. So, uh, but I still want to see it. So post your comments down below. How do you feel about it? Do you feel the same way I do about these kind of movies where you understand what's going on and you, you, you kind of wish that, that there was something that you could do, but there's no happy ending for these guys? Or... You don't really care. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed my reaction. Hit the subscribe button for more fan reacts right here on NC Studios. So once again, it's NC a place to be. Chill, try to share your name. And the fan react is out.